You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday's plow day action was absolutely awesome. Yeah, things were, they were great. So I only had one casualty. Well, I had two, I guess, actually. Broke the one bolt. God, this shop's dirty. And then um, coming back in the driveway last night, the plow got a little wide and I ripped the depth wheel off the side of it. So we got to re-weld that on. But yeah, 7520 ran, ran really well, which I was very pleased with. But as you see here, it's down over there. We just gotta, we just gotta weld it back on, clean this up, weld it on. That will be easy enough to go. But very happy with the 7520. We gotta do a little bit of work. Um, hydraulics, the, the quick connects, they leak, um, or the breakaway couplers, I guess it is. And then what else did we do? Sean was here, Colburn's still here. So his tractor's here. It's a little windy. Sean actually, he dropped me off that chute for cows and he took the hay elevator. So, and one section of it broke. I don't think, I think he did take it with him. I don't know. One section was in the middle, had a crack through it. So we ended up cutting it taking it apart it was five sections loaded on the trailer so he's got 45 foot hay elevator now so glad it's going to a good place i am never going to make small square bales in my life but what we're doing today we might plow a little bit i gotta organize this shop some and i got colburn's help so we can move some things in the heavy stuff out of the trailer yeah i got a lot of stuff that we got to organize some. I'm going to dive into that, see how far I make it. Hopefully we're better off. I do have parts for this coming. So that will be a good thing. And uh, yeah, gaining day by day. It did rain this morning. I don't know how much actually. Let me walk over there and see. So we actually did on our way back through, plowed a few passes over there and it's extremely wet. So. My lawn is getting a little aggressive here. Uh, tenth of an inch. But nothing too crazy. We have definitely gained some here. So that pile over there is trash. Kyle's working on a dumpster. I know he's busy. He's getting me a new one. That's he could drop me off an old one, but he said I'll give you I'll drop you a new one. So pile of trash. We got some cabinets that are absolutely junk. I'm cleaning things up, trying to organize. Got my shelves on the back wall. We got more shelves, all of my air compressor stuff. Um, this will be welder, torches. Um, yeah, fabrication side of it. So I do gotta get all the stuff out of uh, the trailer. So I'm trying to get in a good place here. I know there's stuff everywhere. I do have another workbench, a big one that probably gonna go right in the middle here. Uh, just because I'd like open space. I'd put it down that way if I had concrete. So when we get concrete, we'll probably do that. So that's not in the budget right now, but by the end of the year, that is the plan. Well, gained a lot on this. So looking a lot better. We got all our tools here. I've never actually owned a toolbox. That's a lie. There's a toolbox that was at my family's place in the one shop that was mine. We're never getting that back, so we need to get a toolbox at some point and organize ourselves a lot more, but we got to organize all this. So like the Mac parts, planter or tractor parts for the 7520, plow parts. Yeah, plow. I guess we better put these plow parts in there. So bearings, we got all sorts of stuff. So from here, we still got the 112 that we're going to mess around with and we're gonna go look at some other stuff from that same guy. But from here, this is all garbage. That's all seed, which is expensive, and I got metal. So it works out. I put the wood and uh, fuel, oil, that's all over there. But we gotta unload a few things out of the big truck, out of the trailer, that I need to utilize sooner than later. 
such as putting the plow back together. Somebody was right, and we probably should make that a little bit easier to work with. Um, and we got this pile of gravel or whatnot, mill run or whatever they want to call it. So we might as well do that first. I'll jump on the mini that could, pull some of that grass out of there, then we can drive in nice and easy and uh, make our lives easier. Might as well use it up instead of just have it sit around. And I figured after driving my pickup in and the semi in, that was quite a curb, would just make it a little bit easier. So originally it was just drive in, it was dirt everywhere. And they put this concrete in. The previous farmer did that. Not the previous owner, the previous farmer. So We'll just slope it a little bit. The door is really, well, it's close, but that'll be a lot better of a curb than what we were dealing with. Ended up cleaning the entrance up a little bit. We're in a better place. Let's get this unloaded. Be big time. We're gonna get some stuff out. Let's see about the big pieces that I need. Oh, I already had a ratchet that from the other day. So table, the processors, um, spin plate for the Hainsworth Hainsworth kit that is on that or dry hill kit, but bought it from Chuck. Bought the table. I need the welder. Once the table's out, there's a lot more access back, so that's my plan. This uh, workbench is pretty heavy and a little bit awkward based on the size, so he'll come underneath, pick up there. I'll ratchet strap that goes around the back side there, and hopefully we'll be able to get it out. And then that will make all everything from there on out much easier.
What's out? We'll set it there, then we'll turn it. point somebody said get some pallet racking I agree that'd be much better keeping them in the shop those processes are expensive to, re to replace so and we'll just drag this one back we got gearboxes, axle pieces, stuff for the chopper, shafts, spare tire, arms. Yeah. Thing of corn seed. Chain hook to it. I'll just pull that out. Oh, shop cart, how I've missed you in my life. Yeah, taking the units off or out, putting them back into the shed where that's where they'll belong, unless they're on the planter. We still got some work on the planter, but I got everything. I think I got it all figured out in my head. I know what I messed up and what I did, but we'll talk about that later date. But corn seed, corn seed, corn seed. There's another one, corn seed over there. So. Yep. One more pallet, then the welder, and uh, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go see a man about some lawn mowers. Not for me, but for Colburn. We got all the big pallets and the bench and everything. All of this stuff is a lot smaller, easier to handle. Yeah, we got gearboxes, belts, spare par chopper parts, water pumps. <sighs> yeah. Oil, oil, oil. Bunch of chopper parts. Oh, we got rags. Better bring one of those in right now. But, yeah, got a lot of stuff. Mirrors, lights, workbenches. So we'll get the welder, the generator off, and uh, tomorrow we can, or anytime I can unload it by myself. The big stuff is just so much easier when you're pulling it out. I can just come over here with a pallet, load everything, and. Well, we'll see how much time we get into. Me and Colburn do want to do some plowing because the reason he was here. Yeah, this roof. Real um, I'm not amazed that this roof is still on, actually. When the doors open, it just makes a tunnel and pushes it up and down. But this trailer's been good to me. It's not good. It's been good to me. So, what was I going? where was I going here? Oh, Colburn, the whole plan was for him to come out to the plow day. You're soaked, bud. Yeah, living the best life. Come out to the plow day and then help me plow some of my ground so that we can get done. Um, a six and a five. He does have a five, but one, two, three, four, five, I think. A six and a five plowing together is gonna make some quick work of this. Yesterday we goofed around um, at the plow day and it was it's pretty wild. And some people said, oh, you should have had them all over at your place. Well, we learned about some wet spots. I'm really not set up to have a bunch of people just wandering around. We're not. Someday, but not currently because of 
We're just not organized. We're working on being organized, but we're not yet. There we go. I got my welder back. Oh, I've missed you, welder. We've ran the TIG a little bit. We borrowed welder, but we're beginning. We got to build something or do something so that we got our, our, uh, wow. We're better set up with the plasma cutter and then we got the TIG welder as well from Vivor. So we're having a shop again. It's going to be, it's going to be nice. Like a legit like work area that has all my tools and everything. So we still got a long way to go, but that's gaining. The colleges. Yep. Six row Kenzie. They're gonna they must have put some corn in the ground. Otherwise they're just out for joy right now. They put corn in the ground. Six or eight. I think that was a six. Maybe. Everything's for sale. That's actually cool, Ertl. What a time. So I am very behind on a lot of things, catching up on editing. Um, me and Colburn went down, did a little bit of touring of uh, old places we were around, which are down by these lawnmowers. So we drove down in his car. He gave the man a deposit, and we're going to have to go back and see which tractor Colburn wanted and why, I guess. But that's going to do it for today's video. Got the shop clean, got some stuff unloaded. We're gaining. We're going to do some more plowing. We're going to pick that lawnmower up that Colburn got that will match his fleet. Slide right in. But I appreciate you guys watching along, liking, and subscribing, and uh, we got a lot of stuff coming. So appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.